Hi. Hi. My name is Peter Schultes. I'm a freshman at American University. Um, Dr. Shomsky, um, the conclusion I would draw from uh, your talk on, on the mass media in our society and the role they play is that, that it's an outcome of the structure of the society itself. Um, I have two related questions. One, um, what would you say the, the best way to change the society, what would you say the best way to change it? I'm on the, I'm on the amplifier right now. How would you change, how would you change uh, this society towards something in which necessary illusions don't exist? And um, secondly, why do you choose not to use um, widely used Marxist terms in describing the society that exists, replacing terms such as ruling class which with ruling elites, uh, a general population with working class and that sort of thing. Yeah. I mean, the other well, way. Well, as for the second part, I don't use the terminology because I don't find it very interesting or helpful or useful. Uh, in fact, I mean, if you do, okay. I think it's mostly misleading. Uh, we, pre, I mean, I'll be frank. I just don't think there's much in the social sciences in the way of theory. I think most of what happens in the world, to the extent that we understand it at all, which is not very much, to the extent that we understand it at all, it's not very much hidden, you know, kind of on the surface. Now, you can obscure it. You can make very complicated theories which make it look obscure, and in fact, I think a large part of the social sciences and the humanities are committed to that uh, for good professional reasons. After all, you gotta have a profession and that sort of thing. But uh, I'm just not convinced that the theories help you very much. At least they don't help me very much. Most of the time I don't understand them, for one thing. <laughs> and uh, what I think I do understand can be described without them. Uh, so uh, if you're helped by reading Althusser or something, okay, I'm not. To me, it looks like gibberish. Uh, but uh, uh, so I don't use it because I don't think it's helpful. You know, if you think it's helpful, fine. Uh, the, uh, it, as far as, you know, if you talk about these things, theories, you know, kind that I'm used to, at least, I know about in other fields which have principles and conclusions and so on. I don't see any of that structure. Uh, I should say that the whole idea of Marxism strikes me as kind of odd to begin with. I mean, if there's such a thing, I mean, Marx, the concept of Marxism belongs to the history of organized religion, just like Freudianism or any other kind of ism. But notice you don't have concepts like that in the sciences, like nobody's an Einsteinian, let's say, or a Planckian or anything like that. And the reason is, in the sciences, people aren't gods. You know, there are people who did some interesting work, you know, maybe important, maybe even revolutionary work. They obviously made mistakes, you know. You try to improve and correct their mistakes. If you're still repeating what somebody said a century ago uh, and trying to figure out why it's exactly true, you know that you might as well throw it out, you know. Nothing that was said a century ago could possibly still look true if there was a field there. I mean, that's kind of like automatic. Uh, so if there is a concept like, say, Freudianism or Marxism, it really belongs to the history of theology. In my view. Uh, uh, human, it's raising a human being to divine status. And that doesn't seem to me to make much sense except in theology. Uh, if that makes sense. But uh, so that's why I don't use that. Uh, as far as, uh, I, I don't mean to say that there aren't insights there. You know, I think in the so-called Marxist literature, I would rather see it called something else. Uh, sure, there are insights, and any sane person ought to learn from them. And, you know, I try to do it as much as I can. As much as I can understand it, I try to do it.